All right, what's up everyone? I'm back. It's been about two weeks. Uh, I was kind of waiting for the set to come out, although I think it came out two weeks ago, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, I've just been busy, but uh, I finally got some of the Pokemon Go set. This is the uh, the Mystic, Team Mystic Special Collection. You can't even see the top of it, but uh, let's just get on into it. I checked out the card list for this set, and it honestly looks pretty good. There's the Radiant uh, Charizard, Blastoise, and Venus. What is this? What is this? Come on. Oh, this is like, this, you can, I guess you can uh, download the uh, game through that code. And this is the one thing I'm actually really excited for in this box. The, the promo card for this looks absolutely beautiful. It, they, it's very, very detailed. Let's see how it... Yeah, it's nice. I feel like this might be worth uh, a decent amount in the future, but we'll have to see. Let's go sleeve it up. There we go. They've been doing a really good job with the promos, I feel like. Like the uh, Arceus uh, back there, and now uh, this this thing. I actually got a pretty cool looking pen. It's a pretty sweet pen. Alright. I don't wear pins or anything though. No, let's just let's just dump all the codes in. Yeah. Let's just do it that way. And dump everything out and let's get started uh, with these packs. I think it's kinda interesting that they all have the same pack artwork, but you know. I can see these packs feel thicker than normal. Okay, I, I, for a second, maybe it's just because I haven't opened cards in two weeks. It felt like there was like 13 cards in here or something. But uh, I have no idea why that pack felt thick. That's a cool looking rare candy. A Charmander, Tranquil, Squirtle, Meltan, Apom. Can we get some on the first pack? And a Lapras Hollow. I wonder if this is one of those sets where they have like a hollow in every pack. Like, I think Shining, Shining Legends was like that. It's like a hollow every single pack. Let's see what we can get. Alright, Lightning Energy, a Soul Rock, another Unpheasant. How many cards are in the set? Let's see. Only 78 cards, so yeah, it's a pretty small set. I think it's about like Champion's Path, that size. And let's see, Snorlax and a Mel Metal. So yeah, it's probably going to be hollow every pack of the set. But I have no idea because... Yeah. First time opening it. And uh, if you all are... That, that 350 subscriber giveaway is uh, coming up. So if you're new to the channel, you might want to subscribe and drop a comment on a video I've made. I think it was the last full video I made, so yeah, do that if you want to be entered. I'm going to pick a random comment, and that's how that will go. All right, we got three packs left. Come on. Come on. Whatever. Packs want to be difficult with me. I think I saw something in this pack. I think I saw something back here. Yep, there's something back here. Let's see what it is. Oh, it looks... It looks interesting. We may have something cool here. What is it? Come on. Oh! Holy shit! Holy crap! Go! I think this might be the best card in the set. <laughs> what? We got the Mewtwo alt art on the first, the first time opening it. We got the, the best, I think this might be the best card in the set. I'm not sure. It may get topped by the uh, Radiant Charizard. I don't know, but we've got the Pokemon Go Mewtwo alt art. I'll give a really, really good close up of the uh, art here. Let's see the corners. Looking good. This might be in it being a hundred dollar card. I don't know. That's pretty freaking crazy, you guys. 
Holy shit. All right. Well, did I crease it? I thought I creased it. Okay, come on. The, uh, the new ETB sleeves, like, these ones suck. Holy crap. Let's see what we can get out of the last two packs. Last two packs. Why won't you focus camera? There we go. Here we go. I was I was not expecting expecting that. I saw the silver border and I thought it'd be a full art, but I didn't think it'd be a good full art. I rarely get treated well with full arts. I always pull the bad ones. That's a messed up looking card right there. I had a pretty big ding out of it. Okay. Is there something in this pack too? I thought I, I think I saw another border back here that looks pretty good. So let's see. Come on. Pikachu, that's cool. I'm gonna set Pikachu aside. Ratata, Onyx, Andy. Ooh, a Dragonite V. Okay. That's neat artwork, actually. It's kind of like a more cartoony style. Let's see. I have a punny sleeve. It looks dirty. I'm gonna use a different one. And that's the thing I always worry about with using older sleeves. Like, you stick it in there just to find out there's like a piece of sand in there and it completely puts a huge scratch on the back of the card. And here we go. Last pack. Last pack. It would have been cool if we could uh, get that on oh, another V-Star marker. So one, two, three, four. Is that how we do this? Nope, but oh, look, we got Charizard. We've got the Charizard Hall. This probably has to be at least a $4 card because it says Charizard on it. And that's how the Pokemon fan base uh, treats Charizard. But I treat him the same way. I like him, so that's cool. Anyways, you guys, we did pretty good. We did pretty stinking good, especially with that Mewtwo. We'll just put him in the front. So, uh, yeah, that was the first time opening Pokemon Go. I'm pleasantly surprised and impressed with this set, especially the pull rates. So, yeah, uh, I guess my next video will probably be another Pokemon Go video. I will see y'all later. Bye.